Regarding the image that I posted, uh, people want to know my settings, and this is uh, quick information here. Again, this is, uh, in a nutshell, the quick information. This is a Humminbird Helix 8 G3N. Uh, I'm in my garage, not on the water, so I have no images. So uh, the first thing you want to do before you start changing settings, uh, obviously, is going to go hit the menu button twice. Go to the gear setup, scroll down, make sure this is in custom. If you got an no angler mode, you don't have near the options that you have with custom, so make sure that's on custom. Start with that. So that's number one uh, once you get done there. So it exits to clear. So if you hit menu button one time, I uh, run uh, my, it's running my sensitivity, down image sensitivity on 14. Uh, <clears throat> enhance. I had that turned off on sharpness, contrast 12, sensitivity 14. So back up out of that. Range really doesn't make much, a whole lot of difference there. So um, chart speed. This is very, very important. So it's important to match your chart speed with the speed that you're going. So uh, if you're just kind of idling around looking three, four, five, six miles an hour, whatever you're doing, you want to change that chart speed to match your speed of your of your boat. Um, you know, when you're uh, get slowed down using trolling motor, put it on one. I like to keep it, you know, for if I'm if I'm cruising with my trolling motor looking for stuff, I'll bump it up to three. Um, Sometimes two, depending on how fast I'm going. I get my big motor on, and when I idle, I'm going to bump it to four, generally four to five. So it's important to keep that chart speed with that. So, and how to get to chart speed is just one touch of the menu, and you can get a quick uh, shot of it right there. Color palette, I change that all the time. I'm all the time changing the color to see what's going to end up being the best. So every day is different, every lake conditions are different. So um, the eye colors change that all the time. Uh, so the next thing would we'll go to menu, hit your menu button, get to setup, and scroll down to. We want to check uh, this right here, this in this lower left corner right here, this frequency. <clears throat> that is that is key to changing uh, how good of an image that you're going to get. So um, I'm going to go down here to oh, chirp configuration, chirp configuration. DI frequency spectrum after chirp configuration. Click on that, and then you can go down here and you can change this like this, just back and forth. And these two things right here, this frequency uh, on your DI is important. If you change those, you're going to see better images. Uh, you, but you got to play with it. I mean, there's I can't tell you that your lake you go out and your frequency is best at uh, 1.1 to 1.2. It's it's going to change uh, depending on water conditions, algae bloom, light transmission, clarity. I mean, there's just so many factors that go into that, and it's all going to be different. But that that is the couple of the key things to get to that. And then obviously you you know for your 455 kilohertz you can change that too. Your 800 you know for you know whatever your your option is but all these settings are going to be different from where you're at but that is you know to get there i'll just go through that again so from your from your home screen hit menu twice setup scroll down to i lost it nope here we go chirp configuration chirp configuration go to Whichever one you're going to use, you know. I, obviously, I was using the uh, down imaging, mega da, mega uh, down imaging frequency. So I go here and I just start changing these and start playing with them. You see what works and what don't. So just just play with them and you you'll figure out what works. And you'll have to every time you go to a different lake or a different condition, uh, you're probably going to have to change those. So just uh, just get out there and play with it and have a good time and enjoy it. Um, I mean, sometimes what you got to do is leave your fishing rods at home. I know that's a hard thing to do, but sometimes you do what you got to do. So anyway, that is some of just a couple of the, of the tricks to getting clear images on your, your Helix models. Um, and again, I am not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. There's a lot of people here who know a lot more than me, but that's what works for me, and that's how I get it done. So catch you all later.